Howdy lads, welcome back to another Gates of Hell PvP match. This time it is a 2v2 on Blizzard. It's late war. I'm the US faction. I've gone for the all round doctrine. It is myself and almost comatose versus Shockle 1025 and Aquamarine. So myself and comatose, uh, we're in a VC for this one versus a couple of randoms. And as you can see, I've ended up on the right side. Now some of you may remember a video. The thumbnail is a panther sitting in the tree line. That northern objective is where that was taken. Basically, people were talking about how that on the northern side, Axis have an advantage because of that tree line. So what I wanted to do was get a match in where I actually had to come up against that tree line and just to kind of see just how hard it is. So I've got a squad pushing straight out to the north. Obviously, with the Americans, you don't want to lose that first squad too quickly because it can cost you dearly. And I figured... Because they've got AT mines, I'm actually going to try and dig a couple of AT mines I'm ready. at the back of the point on the road there. So if he tries to armoured car rush us or something, uh, he'll potentially go over the mines and blow up. So, yes, sir. Just a bit of an insurance policy. Now, he's made it there very quickly. So I assume he's got a Jeep, or some heard. sort of you know, vehicle, machine gun, uh, motorbike, whatever. I'm just throwing some smoke. I've split the guys up. I'm going to get a whole bunch of dudes hiding, kind of in that little where all that cover is and the other guys will kind of go at it straight straight on I do have the rifle grenadiers so I can perhaps you know lob a few of them out but I'd, I'd want to do everything I can to make sure this squad doesn't get white so I figured now he's got smoke there not attacking me I'm gonna dig in always ready the old mate with the bar heading around there I'm pushing them up just to try and find where he is I do have a bar team in the middle, but they're not going to hold. Um, under no illusions that I can hold that point. So I figured... He might be hiding a guy behind those... Uh, little areas. So, orders, not behind those tanks. I'm throwing a nades. I accidentally still had control of the bar Ready, team in the sir. middle. So that's why they didn't move. They started running. Very Ready annoying. To go, Ready to go, sir. Found him. Oh, so it's off class. No idea how they got there so quickly. Jesus. Ready, sir. Any orders, he got there sir? Any orders, way sir? quicker than Any orders, he should have, Ready even go, with sir. scouts, I think. It was a bit wild. Oh, good. He hasn't actually pushed me. So, that's just me making sure it was uh, recording. But he hasn't actually pushed me, so I'm going to dig some foxholes at the top of the point. Any orders, and I'm going to focus in the middle for a second. So, I've got the rifle squad. Push them up. They come with two bars this time, which is quite handy. That was just me checking Discord for something. Sounds it. And he is actually now pushing me up north. Ready, sir. I'm going to stop them. Lie him down and just get him to shoot. They should be able to hold the line. It's just when that first Doctrine comes, that's when I'm worried. Because obviously that tree line is awesome for hiding... Infantry guns, tanks, artillery, you name it. So. I'm actually splitting that squad up. I'm sending half to the north as he is starting to push that. And the few guys I have here should be enough to cap this deck. So we'll try to dig a few foxholes. Why not? I was going to try to throw smoke, but not going to happen. He was actually outside the zone, so I'm pushing them in. I also noticed my teammate, Comatose, is pushing a squad there too. So we should cap that thing. Again, foxholes, because why not? There we go, we're starting to cap, which is good. So that's the thing about that northern point. I know we're kind of focusing in the middle here. So we'll, focus, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to what we're, we're doing for now, and I'll talk about it. Getting everyone in there, digging foxholes, and here we go, we're back over. So thing with this northern point, yes that tree line is awesome, but if you haven't established yourself on the point at all, it's still not an easy push, despite obviously the axis having the advantage on that side. So I think by me getting there, kicking him off that point straight away, it's actually alleviated the, the pressure a little bit of uh, trying to fight from my side on that point. 
support, no support units yet. So, we'll see what happens at five minutes. So, five minutes in, 255 to 379, myself and Comatose's way. We're about to four cap, and I noticed he actually has something out there now. No idea what it is. Got the infantry gun. Ready to go, sir. So, go, sir. goodbye. Yes, sir. Infantry gun on that tree line. Devastating. I'm gonna hide these guys behind here. Obviously, I need to keep some guys watching in case he runs a squad at me. So I've left the, the left side uh, up about. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. So I'm gonna throw. Smoke and try to push up a little. Up now. I do, however, have a an infantry gun of my own. So best counter to an infantry gun is an infantry gun, I think. Personally, is it the 7.5 LEIG? That thing is deadly. That is probably the best German unit in my opinion. The LEIG is so and it caused absolute chaos. So he's hiding a lot of guys behind those tanks. He doesn't know I have the infantry gun there. He should be smoking and pushing. Yes, he's going to lose infantry, but if he has another infantry squad coming up at the same time, once he's pushed to my side and lost most of his infantry but still killed most of mine, that following up squad will then take position and set up the defense. So, in that situation where he had the support weapon and I had to hide, he shouldn't be hiding his infantry, he should be pushing me as much as he can. I noticed he had a vehicle here, so I was just moving up with a bazooka. Couldn't find it. Come and take his dealt with it. Got a shot as well, why not? But my infantry guns are. Uh, I was going to say trading shots, they're not. Mine's not shooting at anything at the minute. But if he tries to move across that open ground, that infantry gun is going to slaughter him. Knows I'm there. Reloading. Hey, you got me. So I'm bringing up an M4A1. Bring up the tanky boy, see if I can't take out the IG. Obviously, I'll have the range. So, the idea is bring that tank up and hit him. The gun can't get me. Oh, that log just landed on him rough. Pull that back. I don't mind if he just kind of slowly micros his infantry gun. I will need to get some more infantry out there though. I'm very limited forces wise. Let's just see what I could get. Can't get anything, so just holding on. And that tank is now exactly where we want him to be. I'm pushing them in just to try and get eyes on that gun, see if it can't start shooting me. He's actually bored out. His SDK. So very unlucky on his part because I just happened to be pushing a tank up. <laughs> the thing is very fast, obviously. Um, so very unlucky there. It's okay. So I was judging whether I take the shot. Um, that SDK can take me out, so I've got to be very careful on this one. I just watch and make sure he doesn't push. I heard him moving in the fog of war, so I just pull back. Got the infantry gun covering the tank and the tank covering the infantry gun. Do need to repair this though. Out. So now that he's shooting, hopefully I can get closer to the gun. Away, unlucky, but pushed him away from this point. So now my guys are safe on the objective. Should be able to get myself another squad up soon. Ready to go, sir. Officer here. What do you think? Damn it. I 
think I'm looking for tank crew. There we are. We'll get the uh, gun up and firing. Thanks for your good work. 10 minutes in though, 660 to 230. Except for the time away. Um, my opponent was using that tree line very well. I think what he did wrong is he wasn't aggressive enough with his infantry while he had the uh, while he had the initiative. Yes, he yes I had my infantry down there pretty quickly, so I probably would have pushed this back off. But that was his chance to do something. And potentially, you know, fight around the point and kick me off and do what I did with him. Just keep a few soldiers on there and keep that makes any sense, but yes. I think that's where he fell off on that. One. Now we are losing the middle. We do still have three points, it's not a big deal. I'm just, ma I'm just microwing this tank and making sure it gets back far enough. Too often do I let the computer do it and they get killed. So, good. And he's uh, started firing on me again. So he's now capping the points, so he's hiding his guys behind the tanks. All good. Now, not all of those. Alright, sorry boys, we had some technical difficulties again, but as I was saying, we're getting them on the point. We don't need all of the uh, tank crewmen, so we'll get them on just to get the cap weight. We've got a squad reinforcing, so we should be able to deal with that soon. I now know that the LERG has moved. My next move is to get that to reveal itself and allow me to hit it with the tank. Now, he's actually brought up the. I thought I'll have a go at it. Why not? So he's almost in range. Always ready. Now I'm getting them to run on blatantly. The idea is if that Puma shoots, I'll know exactly where he is and I can push him quickly with the tank. That's the idea there. A little bit risky leaving the tank where it is. Um, he could push up and he can see it. I don't know if he can see my tanks there. I do have to be very careful. He hasn't taken the bait as of yet. I could turn on the infantry gun. I think that's what I'm about to do. But I am weary of this puma. Wait for him to make a move. At the moment, he has to make make all the moves. I can just sit here and let him, you know, push his head, butt his head against the wall. The only issue with playing defensively like I am is it gives your opponent the chance to take the initiative. So, you know, leaving a tank in the same spot, if I'd left it there and he eventually killed it with the humor, not long before, you know, he can easily come up and kill my infantry gun because I can't outrange him. And then all of a sudden I've lost the initiative completely and take that point and hold it for however long so I can you know, reach it. So you want to be very careful. Now he actually had a lieutenant on this middle point. One of them did. They are capping. I do have the military police though pushing on. Purely got them for numbers. I know they're pretty crappy. Don't please find me please lad. The infantry guns getting shots off. Happy days. Hoping the Puma will come and take a shot at that infantry gun. It has taken the bait. Happy days. So he doesn't know my tanks there. Um, but he's about to. Shoot. Damn. Shoot. That's a big loss for him. Now all I need to do is concentrate on the infantry gun. My infantry gun is still fit and firing. That'll cover the point. All that has to do, and now the tank's going to try and deal with that tree line. Tree line has been giving us problems, um, as we knew it would. Yeah. I think we've done okay. He's actually brought up another SDK. Still. Very good play on his part. That caught me completely off guard. Straight out of the tree line. And decimated me, so. Going to move my infantry gun so that that doesn't get destroyed. Tank's gone. Nothing I can do about that tank. I'm gonna throw a stupid amount of smoke and try to cover myself. Because he's got that stug, I feel like he won't have that much infantry. 
If I just hide my guys, it should be okay. So good play by him. Completely threw me off. So, looking at what to buy. What do I go for? Surely the 105. Yeah. Going for the 105 HVSS. I love this thing. The 105 is super accurate. It's the 105 howitzer that you can get in one of the other doctors. Very accurate. Does a, you know, a lot of HE splash damage. And it's pretty cheap. Um, although you don't want to be taking on other tanks with it. It does have um, heat. And you can deal with tanks. It's best off as an infantry support weapon. You know, Clearing out towns. Um, tearing apart buildings. On site. That kind of stuff. Um, and I figured the first job I'll give it is dealing with this bloody infantry gun. So I just want to see what the range is. So 180. So a bit risky. I know his Stug's there. So it's a very risky play. So I thought... I'm going to bring the infantry gun around and see if I can't move up on him via my point and get a shot at him. So I'll infantry push him over to replace the lads on the northern point when I need them. But due to his lack of infantry, but he's got that many support units that his infantry is very scarce. Basically all I've got to do is weather the storm. Yes, he's going to shit on me, but what else can he really do? He's got a Stug and a Pack 40 and an LEIG. I feel like that's a good kill. If he's got the Stug, you don't need the Pack 40. If you've got the Pack 40, you can your guns a good buy anyway. But I feel like he could have left the 7.5 pack and got two infantry spots for that price. So I'm going to have a go at this uh, infantry gun. He's got a sniper. The sniper's there just to kind of pick him off, make sure he can't start capping. H E A T rounds. Ready to roll. Just putting it on hold fire just in case. Can't panic these things. Slow and steady. It's just hurting itself. Rough gig. What's the range? We'll have a go at it, see what we can do. Bang. Lag a little bit. Got him. Happy days. So we dealt with that finally. That thing must have had so many kills. Dominated for him. Very happy to get that one. So they are actually starting to cap both flanks. So it'll depend on whether they can do that before the clock ticks down. But as it stands, they may. Race against time at the minute. Ooh, have they full cap the right side? Didn't get it. But if you do like this content, please do like, sub, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, lads.